Hi, this is Mike at Design Point. We're looking at 3D Via Composer at an RC car, and you may have noticed that when you create animations, your geometry actors are going to move by default in a straight line from point A to point B. For example, if I come out here to 21 seconds from my 18 seconds, and maybe I use my translate tool, for instance, and bring the top of this car up and over. And then I go back and play this bit of the animation. It doesn't go up and over, but rather goes in a straight line. We can do that a little bit differently by creating a path and telling the, the geometry actor to follow the path. So to do that, we'll go up here to Author, and we'll use the Polyline tool. And we'll create our path. It will be in straight line segments, but we'll address that in a moment. And we'll move our time bar out to where we want the step to complete. We'll select the two actors that we want to move and go to the Animate tab. Create Path from Line. And we'll select that line. Now notice I've got my two geometry actors highlighted. In my properties, I've got this path set to Smooth. By default, this will be set to Linear, so let's put that back. It'll remember whatever you did last. And we'll come back and just play that little bit of animation we just created. Notice that it follows that path exactly. Play that one more time. You'll see that it does hit, it, it does hit those corners. Um, it's not a, a perfectly smooth arc that it makes. We can change that. If I just highlight one of my actors here, you can see the path that that actor is taking. And I could actually grab and adjust these uh, bars at any point here, but what I want to do instead is go here to Animation and change this from Linear to Smooth. And you'll see that that's going to smooth out that path. We'll do the same thing for the other one. I could do them at the same time, it's just not as easy to see what's going on. And now we can see we've got our smooth path there as well. Now we'll go back and play that animation segment one more time. And you can see that the top of that car follows a nice smooth path. One last thing we might want to do is just highlight and hide the path itself since we don't want to see that in the animation. And we'll play it one more time. 